Hey everyone, so today's video is about fear and the fact that fear can't be the reason that you don't recover. Fear can't be the reason that you don't honour your physical and mental hunger. It can't be the reason that you don't quit compulsive movement. It can't be the reason that you don't go to that restaurant and order exactly what you want. It can't be the reason that you don't take rebellious action. You know, walking headfirst into your fear is part of the recovery process. And that whole concept of feeling the fear and doing it anyway is crucial. Now, changing ingrained behaviour patterns causes fear. You know, going against neurally wired pathways causes fear. Doing things that are different to what you normally do can cause fear. And doing something that didn't work out as you'd planned or hoped it would previously that can cause fear as well. But if you let fear be the decider in whether or not you move forwards in your recovery, then sadly, the reality is that you're very likely never going to reach that place of ED freedom, which you want and can achieve. Right now, your reason for not doing what you know you need to do isn't time, money, knowledge, it's fear. Fear and doubt, fear of the unknown, fear of change, fear around that many, those many millions of doubts that your eating disorder throws at you. Fear of commitment, fear of failing, fear of judgment of yourself, as in from your eating disorder, from yourself, from family members, from friends, from strangers in the street. Fear of trusting your body, fear of trusting the process. And the problem is that actually, None of that fear is going anywhere without self-action change. So what I really want you to do is turn your attention to what you are going to do with it. What about taking radical responsibility of your recovery and taking action in spite of your fear? You're fearful, but you've ordered the takeaway. You're fearful, but you're eating that big bar of chocolate. You're fearful, but you're pouring another bowl of cereal because that is what you want. You're fearful, but you're driving to McDonald's and you are going to order that meal because you want it. Fearful, but letting your partner, parent, friend cook dinner with all the things that freak you out and fearful, but tucking into it. Fearful, but doing things that you might not want to do but know you need to do. Fearful but resisting the urge to move. Sticking on another film. Fearful but continuing to respond to your mental hunger, no matter what. Fearful but doing it. Fear can't be the reason that you don't recover. So what are you going to do today, right here, right now with your fear.